Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to talk about uh, archiving. Uh, archiving is a way to optimize your mailbox size. As we are sending and receiving uh, mails, with time our mailbox get full, and when that happens, we won't be able to send or receive emails. So in order to prevent uh, this from happening, we use archiving. Uh, through archiving, our mailbox size gets uh, smaller or optimized, and we also get uh, access to our old uh, messages whenever we want. Uh, before we start archiving, there are ways to check the mailbox size. So if you are using uh, POP or IMAP, you can check the folder size by uh, clicking right click on your folder and then you'll go to properties and the property there is a folder size and from here you can check the total size of your folder if you use uh, exchange then you can check the folder size by going to file under file or under uh, mailbox settings you can find the total size of your mailbox okay so uh, there are several ways of archiving the first way of archiving is uh, auto archiving and this type of archiving runs uh, it smoothly and quietly in the background and your folders get archived after a certain duration if we want to set up auto archiving we'll go to file under file we will go to options and from options we'll go to advanced and uh, from advanced you'll go to auto archive settings from here we can set up the auto archiving so uh, you'll specify the time like let's say run auto archiving every 15 days and then you can specify uh, how all the documents that you want to archive or how all the items that uh, you want to archive and you can specify month or weeks or days and you can also specify a certain location where the archive folder can be stored in once you hit ok by that you set up your auto archiving now if you want to apply it to a certain folder you just uh, select the folder go and then uh, from here you choose a folder and then you will go to auto archive uh, settings and uh, from here you will choose this option archive items in this folder using the default settings which are the settings that we have set before by doing that my draft folder will get archived based on the default setting that we have selected this is the first way the second way of archiving is manual archiving and we can do that by going to file under file we'll go to tools and then clean up old items from here we can archive the whole mailbox or we can archive a certain folder let's say we want to archive inbox we will choose inbox let's say we want to archive drafts we'll choose drafts and then we can specify the duration of the archiving all the items older than the date that we can choose and we can even uh, select where we store our uh, archived file and uh, it will be stored in .pst format so once we hit ok our draft file will be archived and it will be stored in this path users or my desktop so this is the second way of archiving manual archiving the third way of archiving uh, it's online archiving and i will explain that to you in another video and uh, also if you open outlook beside the delete button you can see there is an icon called archive 
uh, this one is also archiving but we call it uh, fake archiving because it doesn't do much it just uh, transfer a certain email to a folder called uh, archive in here so if i select this message and i hit archive this message will be transferred to this folder called archive that's all there is to it uh, it's handy if you don't want to delete a certain message or you might get back to it uh, after a while then you can just send it to archive folder instead of deleting it so this is how we archive in uh, outlook i hope this video is informative for you and i wish you a good day goodbye